pure God power. Get everything you ever wanted and live the life of your dreams. The Master's Course. Copyright 2010 by Richard Lee McKim Jr. All rights reserved. Let the quest for knowing begin. Now let's look at this other illustration. Plant's response to the pretend threat. Okay, you have the thought meaning. This person's thoughts and beliefs have certain frequencies. I'm going to do nothing to that plant. Okay, that's the person's thought meanings. Now you see, he's going to pretend to burn the leaf. But what is the meaning of pretend. The meaning of pretend is it's not true. It's not real. So since meaning is the only thing that counts, the meaning of that is no harm, no action. That's the meaning. That's the meaning of it. So here you have the physical meaning from the plant. The plant has certain frequencies and thoughts and vibrations. I don't want to be harmed. Now, we take the meaning that nothing is going to happen to the plant. That's the meaning of pretend. Nothing. It's not happening. It's fake. It's pretend. That's the meaning. And then so since the plant is only going to be picking up on the meaning, meaning is the only thing that counts. Meaning is the only thing that's transmitted throughout the universe. Meaning is the only thing that elicits response. And the meaning was no harm. Then the plant did not respond. Now, the physical resulting meaning, there was no likeness. No harm is not like being harmed. There's no match there. There was no resonance. There was no response. Plant does not respond. Now here we look at the tuning forks, and there are six of them that are transmitting vibrations of all different kinds with all different kinds of meanings, and none of them are resonating with the plant because none of them are relevant. None of them are a match. None of them are important. The fact that he's doing nothing to the plant means nothing. There's no meaning there. There's nothing. There's no harm coming. There's nothing for the plant to be aware of. It's just like every other day in the office. People come and go. No harm. Nothing. So here it says, from all possible frequencies, with all kinds of meanings, none were relevant, and none were noticed, and none activated. Here it says the plant noticed nothing. No vibrational meaning was relevant. Now what did the guy do to pretend? I imagine he got matches in his hand and walked over to the plant like he was going to burn it. But you see, that means nothing. Why? Because in his mind, the meaning was, I'm not going to harm the plant. So it doesn't matter what he does. It already has a meaning. No harm. He could light a match and do a little dance and run around the plant and all kinds of stuff. But as long as he had the meaning in his mind that he was not going to harm the plant, then that's the meaning that transmitted. And the only thing that the plant was aware of was the meanings transmitted, and there was no meanings being transmitted that it was worried about. It did not respond to anything. It is always meaning. Now, when the guy had the match in his hand and he, he was thinking about burning the plant, he had the meaning of burning the plant, that's what it meant, then the plant reacted. But if he has the match in his hand, everything physically is the same. He's standing next to the plant with a match in his hand, just like before, except this time, in his mind, the meaning is, I'm not going to harm the plant. Then guess what? It's the meaning that carries the weight. It's the meaning that... It counts. So it doesn't matter what he was doing. The meaning was pretend. The meaning was fake. The meaning is no harm. That's the meaning.
That's what the plant responded to. Okay, let's continue. Like the dog example above, the plant was aware of his meaning in a non-physical, psychic way. But unlike the happy dog, the plant was very unhappy because the plant was going to be the receiver of an unwelcome event that was on its way. Notice the second to the last paragraph where the plant only reacted to the actual meaning to harm and not to the pretending to harm. This translates very well into meaning. When he had the actual intention to harm the plant, that was an actual meaning of harm is on its way, while his effort to pretend had a meaning of no harm is on its way. As a result, it is only the meaning that is of any consequence. As you can deduce, the physical actions of intended harm and intended trickery would be exactly the same. It would be movement towards the plant with match in hand. This clearly demonstrates that even with identical actions, it is only the actual meaning that counts. Additionally, like the dog example above, the experimenter was always transmitting his meaning out to the universe, even when at first he had no idea that it was being received. You were always transmitting your meaning out into the universe. And those people, places, events, situations, things, and yes, even plants, who resonate with the vibration of your meaning, respond in their own way. Video example. Plants have consciousness. What is this video about? This video has many examples and demonstrations that have been performed and all prove that plants have consciousness. In the first segment, Baxter himself recounts his first experience that plants can read his thoughts and respond. Just as he was explaining in the information you just read above, he had connected a polygraph machine to the leaf of a plant and was trying to get a reaction out of the plant without success. A polygraph machine is also called a lie detector and what it does is measure the change in the conductivity of the skin, or in this case, the leaf. When there is a change in the conductivity, it is an indication of nervousness. He suddenly thought of burning the plant's leaf, and at the exact moment that he had the thought and the intention of burning the leaf, the plant reacted wildly. He said, that moment in February 2nd, 1966, changed the rest of my life. For best results, pause this video at this point here and watch the video example mentioned in the segment. The links are located in the book chapter and at the end of the book. If you are watching this online, you will find the link for this video example listed in the notes section. Then, after watching the associated video example, continue watching this video from here. The second demonstration on this video is also of Baxter trying a different test. He wanted to see if a plant could and would react to the death of brine shrimp. He set up the experiment like before with the plant hooked up to the polygraph machine. In a room next door to the plant, he had live brine shrimp in a small cup suspended above a pot of hot boiling water. In order for him to be sure that there was no human interaction in the experiment, he not only set up the experiment to work automatically by a random timing device, but he also left the office and drove some distance away so that his presence wouldn't interfere with the results. At the random time selected by the machine, the automatic device dumped the brine shrimp that were in a small white cup into the boiling water to their death. At that exact moment, as expected, the plant showed a reaction. This proved that the plant was sensitive and felt the death of the brine shrimp in the next room at the exact moment of their death. To continue, go to How to Use Your God Power, Chapter Number 5, Segment Number 27. 
Let your quest for knowing continue.